Check, check, check. Let's her, let's her. Mm. You won't do anything. So it's dangerous for people to even go to the ghettos to preach because you might even get attacked. You go with who? Is it your territory? The only people who can go preach in the ghetto or township, it's people who knows people there. It's people who you, you go there because of they know you. You think you a corner by now you can go and preach in, in township. Who do you know there? Let's say they rob you. Who are you going to mention? Who do you know? So you must go to where they know you. What are you going to do? With somebody. We have platforms now. Why don't you just sit in your mic and preach? <laughs> Maybe you want, I want to go to the ghetto. To, to do what? To preach the gospel to the criminals. I mean, to the mafia. So to the ghetto guys. With what? With your mic and speakers? No, I will go with my phone, record every conversation whilst I'm preaching and then I post. Then give them the phone after that. Mpene fosi bibi wawi asinti ni eda ni atupunu na nepapo ni fonti e wose umo bambo unhiyo na nepapo mudie Pro Technologies ana meka mfama wo ane Pro Technologies we are specialized in both sales and installation of CCTV cameras yeto esa install CCTV cameras in the sour gun and nasa brochure na ufi o gun na upesu ye CCTV camera installation we need Pro Technologies and nasa wosu we ye CCTV camera installation electric fence automated gates access control video Doorbell and our intercom and our satellite TV home theater so we pay biato and our water and our person install them out pro technologies and our self fry and our shining so see if you didn't name from America but you may decide papa now pedia man you know none of one suit that form make sure you know the web which memo and your branch and we're gonna you need more bravo bring into sick of fire and some safe and yet you're probably more gonna or die Nan yet tennis, yes, sir. General construction. So, we're brochure, not the source if you're Ghana, a dying plant, your pesos, so I shall sit at that, and now fed up a source. Plant beer, the Bissiam, and let you saw your solar power, and now bamba wants and send the idea. When you and his house, so near Sansia Smart Home, a pair from Fidia be a pestilence, a wolf, and now a chumum or the mawo, when you and his house, we are just a call away near Sansu or the Mahai, and now Fred Rochebe Dugana, now open full house, room, and now apartments are high. For short term and a long term, you be more beyond the border form. Now, Bamba won't send you. Man, you know, and now you're interior decoration. So, as if you're in a re, and now you're still feeling a mound, you sign decoration. You best say, you'll be an hour officer at the amount. And register what don't you be now? Who could have first install it? And now the settings, you bear at the amount. Oh, Ghana, Uber, who you are, when real friend enter, Edward Yacha Dodua, Uber, who you are, oh, Ashi, Yeni Emily Pharmacy, and what the same building for information or what's up? 401 Zero and a plus four zero one six nine nine two two five four. Pro Technologies, we have the solutions for your security and home entertainment needs at affordable prices. This is not a political issue. This is just a, a let's say social experiment. You understand? <laughs> you experimenting. Doing, yeah, yeah, experimenting. Doing social experiment. All right. Okay, and it's a free tutorial class for. Ghanaians who wants to visit South Africa, you understand? Ibo. I want them to know the 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 in and out of South Africa. Mm. I don't want it to seem like uh, South Africa is is deadly. South Africa is uh, you know mm. you cannot nobody can even go out. You understand? Okay. But it depends for me. For me, I think it depends on where you go. What or, do you mean by that? Let's say if you are a club person, mm -hmm. you love going to clubs. Mm automatically you will get issues one day you understand but if I you want buy to... if you buy your things and then keep it in the house okay decide to chill in your house mm. i think it's much safer than walking in the night clubs you know chilling. i like the fact that you said it's 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 much safer but it's not 100 isn't it you're thinking um you know obviously i think anyway when you... And then I want you to keep this this question in mind. Somebody came on the platform when I was talking about South Africa. Okay. And then the person was like, um, if you rent an apartment mm. in a safer place, or mm. maybe it depends on where you rent your apartment, mm. it's much. It's also a, a count to your safety. So I just want you to add these two questions. I just want to wanna dispute that a bit. Um, okay. So we have obviously, I think everywhere, there's, there's always um, 
they call them low class, we have middle class, and then we have A class, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But what I discovered, because I grew up in a hood, I, I grew up in a township. Mm -hmm. Obviously, um, even myself growing up, growing up in the township, I, I didn't feel safe. Yes, I would feel a bit safer when I'm in my, you know, in my block. We call them blocks. We call them have block one, block two, da 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 da. da. Mm -hmm. But it didn't mean that I wouldn't be marked even in my block because other people from the blocks they can come and do things in my block and they know me very well that we wouldn't identify them. Okay, that's what that's the first thing, and I think. Anywhere in the world, if you are out there, if you put yourself out there, it's easy for you to to be the one who's not safe than this than someone who's in in the house. But our people from the townships, they are the one who believes that people who stays in the suburbs have money, so they are the the first target to them. Say it again. People from the townships, okay. when they want to target. Mm -hmm. They go to the suburbs because of they believe that that's where money is at, mm -hmm. than people that they stay with, and they already read and okay, they've so already they, if, studied if, and they've already studied the place. They've already studied that us we are in the same situation. We okay. can afford this and that and that and until this limitation, mm -hmm. and then they go to the suburbs where they believe that people can afford. That's their playground. Okay. Okay, and then you mentioned uh, this thing of maybe if you're renting in a safer place, maybe you, or you're renting a, an apartment. Still, that's not the case. I stay in an, I stay in a complex where there's boom gates and security guards, but they came and they stole cars inside, four cars in two days. So sometimes it's really not that the target. It's 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 people who are out there or people in the townships or people who are on the streets. Because of the very same people that you trust with your life, they are the ones who brings these thugs. Because of they, they, they offer them some deals that oh, if you allow us to get in, we're gonna give you a share. Mm. Do you get it? Okay, so it's like uh, <laughs> uh, an informer. And an informer type of thing. It's an inside job sometimes. That is why even maybe you work in a bank. So it doesn't matter where you stay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter more, especially if you stay in the sub in suburbs. Those people in the townships, you are the first target. That is why we have a high rate of hijacking. Sorry, even if you are in the robots, they can do smash and grab. There's this thing that they call a smash and grab. They smash your car, take a bag or take a phone while you're waiting for the robot to, to allow you to go through, like when, allow it to be green. Okay, so uh, when she says robot, in Ghana we call it traffic light. Yes, I know that, yeah, yeah traffic lights. Yeah, call it robots. Robots and traffic lights. Okay. <clears throat> so now, they can even check your car while you're still waiting for traffic lights to open for you. Mm. While other people are there, even. It's very easy. So there's no place that I would say it's safer. The, there's no, because even if maybe you would think that you're in a safe place, the very same people who are, you you expecting them to, to protect you, they are the ones who can sell you out. So you are South African. How safe, how secure is South Africa? As sure. a South African. <laughs> South Africa is bad. Um, I, I recently had a, a, an incident where uh, some guy wanted to take me to his car in front of people and no one said anything. Someone that I don't know, a random guy. Broad daylight. Broad daylight around 3 p.m. The person wanted to just take you in his car. That person literally stopped his taxi. Apparently, he's a take one of the taxi owners. Okay, so so when she says taxi in South Africa, in Ghana we call it trotro. Yeah, here they call it taxi. Okay. Yes. So that person called my name and I ignored him. He stopped his guys. He was like, "Hey, you can't." No, you. he called your name. No, no, no. He didn't know my name. Okay. He said, "Hey, you." Okay. So you don't just. I, f I feel like when you say "Hey, you," it's disrespect. Okay. You know, maybe if he said, excuse me, ma'am, I would mm -hmm. have maybe responded. But when he said, hey, you, I feel like you're disrespecting me. And then I just ignored him until he blocked me with his car. And then he wanted to take me. He was like, I want to talk to you. And I was like, I don't even know you. I don't even know you. And that's when he said, that is why I'm here. I want to know you. He took my bag, put it in his car. 
people were watching. I even asked the Q Marshall. There are people that we call them Q Marshalls. Q Marshalls are those people because of when you're queuing, they will be the one calling to control, to, everything. To control and call maybe a, a taxi driver to come to, to collect people and all that and checking the status of the, the movements and all that. I said, how do you keep quiet while this guy is doing this to me? And he was like, I don't know what's your business with him. And then when that guy now left, because I had to be very brave, he even showed the gun to me so that I can be intimidated. Okay, so he was even holding a gun. Not holding. But now he was yeah, having a gun. He had it okay. and he made sure that he moved his jacket so that I can see. see and become intimidated. You understand? And then when he left, I'm asking this Kumasha, why did you keep quiet? He was like, hey, he's part of those, those big men in associations. He's a taxi owner. So I'm guarding my, I'm, I'm protecting my, my job. I was like, with my expense, in a sense that obviously after that, it went through my mind, what would have happened? You understand? I took the registration number. I went to the police now, the saddest part. I went to the police reporting this. Police told me to go to the taxi association in Faraday and reported. Now you, you, you want me to go to the lion's den? And even when I went there, they told me, they asked me, did you open a case? Because if you want us to help you, you need to open a case. So now it's two people who are playing with my mind and time. You understand having anxieties every time when I pass that place, thinking that that guy maybe would have took me and went to do things to me, bad things to me or kill me. I don't know. Nobody would talk. Not nobody would say anything. People were minding their own business they were on just, their phones. They think it was phones. cool. They were just phones. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. That's okay. what happened. Okay. So, it, it, um, last year on the tenth of January, I was with my daughter. The those guys, they literally, other one stood on the other side of the car. The other one on the other side of the car. They just said, "Can you please give us phones and money?" In like between the township while people are moving so it's it's other things are normal in my country mm. and now we have this pandemic of nyaupe okay nyaupe it's a drug mm -hmm. other I, I i did my research i think in america they call it a crack mm -hmm. right nyaupe has killed my country it killed my country in a sense that even your brother or your sister starts at home they steal everything and go sell. And now the, the, that person sells to a neighbor. Let's say your brother. Okay, so that Nyahupe makes them to sleep while standing, eh? Yeah, but the, the, that one, let's leave that sleeping part. Okay. Now you have a brother who smokes this thing. No, I want to know the effect. That's I'm, why I'm, they, I'm stand, they, they, they can stand and be sleeping at the same time. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They do that. They're more like zombies most of times. Because uh, when they get high, mm -hmm. they, they can't do anything. Even when they talk, they talk slow. Like, oh, yes, my brother. That's how they talk when they are too high. They literally st they steal pots from your home and go sell in the neighbor, and the neighbor buys them. And then how the crime as well will, will, will be low when the neighbor is supporting the person who's doing crime. You understand? And then this Nyaupe thing, again, those people, they don't bathe. They say when you bathe, it takes the, them, like it, it, it makes them to be sober. Mm. When they take bath. Yes. They, I mean, so they have to keep it, they have to keep. They are some uh, dirty. They have to be dirty and keep warm. Mm. They always on jackets, even if it can be very hot. hot like they, they you know when it's what do they call it when it's too 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 heat wave uh and then now when they notice that now maybe they don't have money they have introduced something that is called bluetooth that nyahupe guys those nyahupe guys this this now they call it e -E -E bluetooth okay let's say maybe a bag okay Normally, oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a general thing that we know with that a bag is 30 rands. And then today we have 90 rands and we don't have any plan. It's three of us. I'll smoke in the morning. After smoking, I will inject myself. I mean, I will, I will take a, um, in, in, in that syringe mm -hmm. and then I'll hold, I will take some blood, inject you, take a blood to the third person. And then you'll be high as I am high. And then the drug is hard. 
yeah, you, you we get high, all of us. The high, we will feel I mean, the, the same. The drug is very high. Yes, mm -hmm. and then during the day you smoke, do the same process, and then the third person smokes later, we do the same process. That's what they say they're saving money. It's called they call it Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. Yes, they call it Bluetooth. But but in a sense that crime crime in my country it's it's different. Okay, so there's one thing I noticed um, in South Africa. Mm. Let's say in the night or maybe daytime. Okay. You are walking neighborhood mm. and there's two guys, I don't know, two people coming mm. and you are walking alone. You cannot meet them. You need to just go to the other side of the road. Who told you that you can't meet them? Yeah. Do you meet them? <laughs> I would never. Okay. So. <laughs> but now you said you have to as if... You were told that you have to because do it. I, that's why I said there's something I noticed. Oh, you understand? Yeah, yeah. Because I noticed they don't meet. They have you to can't. just cross the other way. You cannot. So that's what I'm saying. Because you, you don't know what they are. You don't know their intention. So why, why must you think somebody is coming and then you don't coming feel to safe? You don't trust why? them because why? of we know that uh, there's because in Ghana you can meet anybody on the way. Never. That's fine. In my country, petty crime it's the it's the it's the one that is it's very high. So the, the two coming, you don't even know what they're thinking. You you cannot even risk mm. uh, petty crime. It's very like it's very high in my country. Like so, you just need to save, you need, just need to save your life yeah, by yeah. going to the other side of the road, off the road, so at that, that they time. can go their way. And then, if maybe they follow you, then you will know when you run for your life. You will know that time if you you part ways with them by crossing the street, and then they follow you. Then you will know. But you cannot just go to them straight. So, so uh, one guy was like, uh, they took my phone, not my phone. Yeah. They took his phone. Yeah. And then he said he even gave them the charger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what are you going to do? What do you, you don't need to argue. You, are you going to argue with people with guns or with knives for a phone? Would you exchange your life for a phone? You work, you will have another one. But you have to save your life. That's what is important. Even if they get into your house, because they are very good with this thing that that is called house arrest. House arrest. House arrest. How? They get into your house, and then when they get into your house, they tie you and your wife and whoever, and then ask, "Where's money? Where's your safe? Where's your what? Where's your white? What what?" So that you don't have any anything that maybe you will press the panic button or anything so it, they call it house arrest <laughs> so there's this guy malevin uh, mm -hmm. i think he just passed on he was trending when he said i get into your house i put knife like this you're not gonna give me you're not gonna give me if you don't give me i put your baby in a microwave you're not gonna you give me and then i tell you that i'm coming for your wife it was trending, and people would saw nothing wrong with that. No one investigated anything when someone. He was said, telling the truth, eh? Yeah, everybody knew he was my eleven, <laughs> but no one did anything about it. And it's another thing in my country where, we f other things we find them normal. You can kill someone today, and then lay charges, and then tomorrow you're out. Wow. Money I was, talks. I was at Melvin. Melvin in twenty twenty fifteen. Mm -hmm. I went to the mall mm -hmm. to buy one or two things and I saw a guy mm -hmm. when I was entering the mall I saw this guy sitting under a tree selling some things on I don't know it was a wood mm -hmm. so when I was coming from the mall to the back to the house mm -hmm. I saw this guy attacking some guy with a knife you know Give me the food. Give me the food. The guy, I think he went to uh, to buy food from one of the restaurants. I don't yeah. Know. So they were arguing, and this guy stabbed this guy chum, mm -hmm. on the floor. Immediately, I saw the police car come in. I was like, ah, this guy is going to be get arrested. Yeah. The police got there, left the scene, drove away like five, mm -hmm. ten minutes. Mm -hmm. Later, he came, came back, back and then asked the guy on the floor, are mm -hmm. you okay? <laughs> yeah. It's, no, it's so normal. Um, again, there's this trending video where there was mob justice. Then, then uh, police came, and then when the police came, they were the police were attacked. They even took their guns and started shooting up, and then the police ran. They attacked the police, took their guns. Okay. What would you do? 
So, th- so that's why they don't even get involved. Uh, others, they don't in- get involved because of that. Others is because of they work with these people that they know that they are t- they, they 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 targeting a certain territory. Mm. They will bribe them. That's what happens. Even in lockdown, you know what happened to my country when they say you're gonna lock the country. They had to send military and the township. They sent literally soldiers to force people to get into houses. And then <laughs> there, were, there were videos where trying to be like, oh, soldier, please marry me. Can you talk to a soldier like that? <laughs> Others, they were cursing at them. They were cursing soldiers. That's how it is in my country. They don't take anything serious. Others, the other day, they went to, um, I think it's, I don't know whether it was parliament or the, the ANC house. They were kissing in our, oh, they were kissing our president, calling him. I was with the uh, Obwasi. We went to a hospital. I think I, I don't know even know the name. Mm. This, they call it Tash. Is it? I don't know. Okay. And then every second there's an emergency. Somebody's with blood. Under the hand cut. All the How far it is from here, the hospital? Oh, unless I ask the one. Because the 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 place that I know that is closer to this area. It's called Coronation and Helen Joseph that are close here. If you say somewhere there, yeah. it's a um, every second somebody's coming with blood, either with the chum or the, <laughs> the hand. Or yeah. the, like, what is happening? Is it the military camp or what? Because <laughs> every second there's a blood, you know. You see that that territory, even if you go with your car, it will say you are in a high risk zone. That's even, what even if you your go tracker. Your Tracker will call you. I think I know this because I went there with Mr. Wilson, the, my brother's driver. Mm-hmm. We went to this shop to buy, uh, I think, cameras. Mm. When we came back, the guy we asked him to yeah. take care of this car, yeah. that we will pay. Yeah. He was still standing there, and then there was no tie under the car. <laughs> and was, and mm. we asked this guy, <laughs> "What happened here?" And he said, uh, "He said he told me to look after your car. Give me my money." I said, ah, "But there's no ties <laughs> under this car." And yeah. said, and you uh, are still watching the car. I don't the, know. There's a, yeah, if you mentioned the hospital, um, the place is called um, is it Coronation? But it's that side. Uh, it's 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 a place. It's dominated with colored people. Mm. It's dominated with colored people where things are normal. Drugs. If you take drugs, it's not taboo. If you shoot someone daylight, it's it's a place that dominates with gangsterism. So those places that you're mentioning, if you're mentioning hospital and people, those are the places. Excuse me. Wow. So um, there are certain things in my in my country that are normal. It's, mm. it's normal. You you see people fighting and stabbing each other. It's normal. There was a time that there was a trend. People got into taverns or into pubs. Just shoot everybody and then they just go. Wow. Or take some eggs and a knife, stab them and just leave. Then you can't even trace them. They didn't even know who were doing those things. They were trending. So there's even kids now at schools. It's so bad. The other day, mentioning hospital, the other day I was going to a hospital and then there was a queue. So I'm asking this Uber driver, why there's a queue when these kids are like, these kids from this area, they are very rough. So they have to, they have to search them every day when they get into, into school because of they carry knives and guns. To school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So 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 tell me so tell me. Mm-hmm. Based on what you say, it means the place is not that safe. I mean, let's say sixty percent not that safe. Sixty. What do you mean? Which place first? South Africa. Uh, South Africa, it's ninety nine point nine not safe. Okay, so 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 how can <laughs> foreigners live their life? I mean, to prevent a little bit crime. I mean, for me, I I don't have any best advice when it comes to that because one, there was the time that we saw our fellow Africans getting banned, xenophobic attack. It was something that was high. And a reason for that, South Africans said uh, they are taking their jobs. Right? 
And in my mind, I always question myself, how are they taking their jobs? First and foremost, we, we, we know our rights as South Africans. We always preach about labor law, right? But yet, we, we're not doing anything about other stuff like, I went to school and this is what I want. And, but before you get that, at this moment, it's not there. What are you doing about it? And now, obviously, now they start hiring people. They start hiring foreigners. And then now they give them, they don't give them the, 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 the very same amount that they would have given a South African person. Obviously, you come here, you came to work. Are you going to deny a job? just because of they're going to give me 100 rand and then they said 80%, 80 rands to you, you will take. And then I, I, wouldn't have, I don't have any best advice when it comes to how other Africans can be safe in my country because we're not safe as well. Mm, okay. We're not safe as well. So I, I just believe that limit, limit to be exposed to go to the clubs, uh, mind your own business. And another thing that now I've discovered with my fellow brothers and sisters in South Africa, they say foreign men are taking their women. Now it's becoming something that it, it, create, it created a bit of jealousy and hatred at the very same time. So I think just don't be taken away. Focus, know what you're here for. Make sure that your papers are in order, you're doing legal things, and then you'll be fine. Mm. Just stick mind, your to what, mind your own business, stick to what you know, and should your senses to tell you not to be there, don't go there. Don't go there, don't be exposed to things. Mm. That's it. So how about if uh, somebody is watching from Ghana, mm. and it's like, ah, let me go to South Africa and look for a job. How, how possible is this? I would, I do, I would advise for one to come we have opportunities in south africa as much as it's called a, a place with high rate of unemployment and the reason for that it's because most of people they came here illegally if you are in ghana or any other place in africa or anywhere in the world and you want to come to south africa do the right thing make sure make sure that your papers are in order and you qualify for whatever job that you want to come in to, to do. And then it won't be a hassle for you to get a job because your papers are legit and your qualifications are legit. And then it's easy for you to hunt it okay, for a so job. Okay, so it means you cannot come to South Africa with a tourist visa or a visit visa and, and like, oh, I want to get this kind of job to do. without You don't have a permit. Let's say you don't have a work permit. You are using a tourist visa. Or visit visa. The or chances, visa. the chances you can just freelance, but you understand that that obviously if you have a visit tree, maybe you might have to be going in and out. I don't know how these things work. But if you know that you're coming to South Africa for work, get a work permit. Get a work permit. That's what you're here for, isn't it? Mm. And then it makes it easy for you to get a job. Mm, okay. Yeah, obviously you cannot say you want to come to South Africa for a job, but you don't even qualify for that. How are you going to do that? And I would advise most of them, now we have an access to apply online. Come this side knowing that you are secured, your job is already secured. You know, or you have someone that you know you're going to get and stay with them while you, you're job hunting, but just have your papers straight. Or apply online the moment now they grant you a job, then come. Okay, then it means you can do the application online. Yeah. Get the job, get mm. your work permit, mm. and then you move. Yeah. Then you know you are secure. Yes. It's if not, like not you are coming with the way a tourist visa. Mm, 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 why mm, you are coming to? <laughs> you you still you more like you are a tourist with the hope of getting a job. You know, unless you have someone who's already settled, but you know still you have you have your papers right and you have your, everything of yours is, is right, you can still look for a job. We have great stuff to talk about South Africa. South Africa is a beautiful place. Yeah, maybe South maybe, nice place. maybe very you nice have place. discovered very, other very places. Nice yeah, place. you know. Especially your roads, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, nice, the roads, nice yeah, yeah. So nice I, weather though. Yeah, so nice stick, stick to what you know. Mm -hmm. And when you get this side, don't be overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. don't, don't let these street lights to, to fool you. Stop. Talking about lights, 
Mm. Ash. It's on and off. <laughs> the load shedding. The load shedding. Yeah, yeah. But have you noticed now, since well, we are about to vote, that's why we I haven't. When I said I was like, I'm not talking about politics. <laughs> so <laughs> we are talking about light. You know? But because that's in what's Ghana, happening. in Ghana, we are facing a load shedding. I think you once mentioned. Uh, yeah, it I once last mentioned time. it. Yes. And you, you, you've been on this uh, this system for how long? As far as I remember, I think it was 2010. 20, oh. no, 2009. Because 2010, we had a, a World Cup. So it was introduced as saving so that when we have World Cup, we won't have some glitches when it comes to lights because okay. of we were so hosting. So you're having the light issue since 2009. Yeah, as far as I remember, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I know it was prior to World Cup. So we were hosting. And then it was introduced as we need to save so but, that but, we can but be in safe. in South Africa, uh, I've not seen the media houses making too much noise on that why when it comes to this the light the light we, that, we're the tired light off and that. you know why it's long overdue remember it's more than 10 years mm. so we're now tired. It's, it's normal huh? it's we've found it normal now and then now we're opting to other things your solar lights we're opting to you know those chargeable lights but mostly now what is in business now with solar panels mm. and they're not coming cheap as as much as i had that even our com government now they said you have to pay for it i was like you buy your panels and still pay for god's heat or lights i don't if god's like i mean sun is, is something that god created for free and i've been watching some news on uh, some sabc something like yeah we have sabc yeah i've not seen any journalists uh -huh. calling a minister on a television to interview what happened today the water no 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 so uh, why, we why do. Like... no we do actually because we apparently they created a, a, a space for minister of electricity something mm -hmm. that we didn't have until maybe last year they 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 interviewing him he's been going to many um interviews promising that after elections they oh, will okay be... so so they introduced a new minister for that yeah that no, we I'm never had of, i'm talking of if let's say um you're having water mm. shortage mm. in your complex mm. or in your house mm. how do you report uh we have um, um, um what do they call them Gonje? but we have people who represent municipalities and regions and whatsoever councillors we have councillors so obviously before you c it can go to the the, the, the superiors it's that you, you report to your street committee if maybe like we have street committees committees report to the councillor councillor report to, reports to the war, uh, ward uh, municipality from municipality regional um national so it's like that it's a process yeah, it's a process so you don't just go straight no you report to whoever is uh, yeah, at your at your command yes. at that time and then they report to their superior and and and, and yeah that's how mm, it happens because okay. we had a we had a we have even now the power outage in my area but because I, I saw most of them uh, reporting on twitter twitter is the one because of twitter has a platform for city power Mm -hmm. So we have ESCOM, we have City Power. They are the ones that supply electricity for us. Okay, so, so when there's issue in your complex, you just but even if you can report to City to City Power on Twitter, still it has to go through that process. The process, because now even if even if the the seniors have seen that someone posted on Twitter, they won't reply to you. Mm -hmm. They will ask the people that they they leading. Mm, okay. so yeah even so now it is in process I mean, it, it, yeah everything here it's a process even if you don't we didn't have water now it's another pandemic that we have that we can stay a day or two without water because i remember they rep uh, i think they made an announcement mm -hmm. before i left ghana i think uh, last year mm -hmm. that there's going to be a water shortage for mm -hmm. i think a week or two i don't know Mm -hmm. that's when they were saying they the were the whole country knew what happened. yeah I, I that was that but i don't think they they shuttered no, water they were changing the, something, yeah, I don't yes know. but what i'm saying is it, it went with sections not that they literally shut it for everybody i think they were fixing the side close and then but the whole country was affected with that because of they were fixing things um for water reservoirs and all mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. i see i see but yeah, if yeah, I know, I know most of people. <clears throat> and remember, they say bad publicity trends, isn't it? Mm -hmm. 
we we have great things to talk about my country um as as much as now people the article that i i i read earlier that says zimbabweans people my in soweto mm -hmm. soweto they 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 don't have jobs because of zimbabweans they took over if i have to say this now how many south african hairdressers do we have i'll wait how many south africans i'll wait for someone who's going to answer this who's going to be watching from south africa how many, how many south african hairdressers do we have because oh, okay. we all go to zimbabweans and mozambicanas for our hair mm -hmm. because I, I don't know i don't want to call it pride but we have this thing in us even people who don't want to work they have something to say about people taking their jobs even people who didn't want to go and go to school and have qualifications they have something to say about people stealing their jobs what are you doing about it that's the question you keep on saying oh these people are taking our jobs but you don't even apply and then my 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 president give uh, unemployed people 350 unemployment relief they call it unemployment fund 350 rands that is just, that's just for uh, pizza i don't know the whole month and yeah, okay with but that. go to our post offices and all that you can stay the whole day in a queue waiting for that 350. i had i had when you give um, birth in this country mm. as a south african mm. the government gives you some money yeah 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 it's How called much? social grant um uh, i'm not sure i think i don't know i think it's 500 rand 500 rand yeah that's about uh, child it's four, called child support grant yeah. it's about 400 or 350 ghana cities yeah it's for five, the whole month yeah for the child <laughs> and now I when it was around four five thousand no it's 500, 500 rands. rands and now the saddest part is if you count just a, a, a child's baby formula and pampers mm. it's 1000 rands and so what's the 500 rand? <laughs> but i guess it makes a difference because i think they give you until you're allowed to to get to get it for four kids so other people they get two thousand but remember more mouth to feed more money is needed <laughs> <laughs> you know the the only people who at least get because i saw somebody making comparison that uh, ghana government should come and check south africans are getting money for giving birth and i, I thought it was around five times it's no it's 500 yeah. rands per child uh, but people who are getting more money it's a uh, pension ones old they ones do they work before they get the pension once or you are, you are not working for the whole you, of your life you, you can know? stay the whole of your life not working and then when you old you tend okay females it's six when you turn 60 years males when you turn 65 years okay. and then you get two thousand rains every month ah uh, yeah it's, it's enough at least it's, it's better it's, yeah, it's, it's better maybe when you need to go to the doctor maybe your knees uh, sorry so, 60 years 60 years <laughs> okay so <laughs> what if you have yeah, 59 you die then you won't get it you won't get it <laughs> you won't <laughs> you won't get it so yeah that's that's what i know about my country and then when uh, for dis disabled people as well i think it's the same amount if you're disabled you get that 2000 rands every mm -hmm. month i see mm -hmm. i see so we just wanted to know south africa mm -hmm. the other side you know? yeah uh, there's been in the news uh people are saying we are coming to south africa to preach mm. uh, and i'm like okay you can come preach no problem but uh, it depends on where you preach let's say you're uh, preaching in joburg sdb sdbc or what cbd cbd and you are holding your phone preaching i think somebody will take it i don't know um actually we have those people who who maybe find a corner start singing preaching dancing and whatsoever i guess if you're lucky they won't do anything but even myself i'm, I'm talking about i know all the almost all the streets of johannesburg mm -hmm. but when i'm there i become so wild i become so agitated and i hide my phone as far as I, I can in my money i don't put things in the bag that i'm hanging because they have these things that they do let me tell you you have in your bag someone is walking and then they can just cut it mm -hmm. with a scissor while you think that you're carrying it it's gone or what they can do while you're walking they will cut it from behind take stuff and you think that you have your bag 
take stuff while walking. Mm -hmm. No one will say anything. No one will say, hey, watch what they're doing because if they no know they might die. Anything. No. Mm. While they see them, what they're doing. You know what happened? Let me share with you what happened 20, 2016. Mm -hmm. Here I come, go to the ATM, withdraw some money. The moment I, I jumped the streets, this guy came. He gave me some. You know when they say varam club, varam club, it's it's hot smacks, you know. And then at that time I froze. I was like, I'm scared to cough, but he was kissing at me. You thought that I wouldn't know. You thought I, I wouldn't know that you busy, you forgot that you took my card. You busy drawing. It's notifying on me, telling me about your whereabouts. I don't even know them. It was two guys. They took money because of he was claiming that. Like, like the girlfriend. I'm the girlfriend who stole his card and I'm busy with throwing and right. then it notifies him where I'm throwing and he's been following me. Mm. That's how I, I, they took my phones. I had two phones that time. They took phones and then they took money and then they went and everybody was just looking. Mm, and then the story it, behind. Yeah. And then Eastern Cape, there's a place called Umtata. There's a town called Umtata. I don't go to Umtata. Mm -hmm. It's very dangerous. You know what they, they do? Like, oh, James, you know, auntie has been looking for you. We've been, why you don't go home anymore, James? Like, I don't know you. No, no, he's like this because if he doesn't want to go home. James doesn't want to go home. They will lift you and find a corner and rob you. <laughs> <laughs> like, auntie's been crying. She hasn't been eating for days because of you vanished. We're taking you home now. We worried about our auntie. Because she has, she even lost weight because of, she can't find you anywhere. But like, I don't know you. She, just, she doesn't want to go home. I remember 20, 2014. <laughs> yeah. I went to MTN. Yeah. I, I think I was going to the one of the offices. I don't know. MTN takes a rank? Yeah. Okay. My, my brother, and I was like, okay, let me check. So I went there. The place I was looking, I don't even know where it is. So mm -mm. I kept asking. Okay. So I asked one guy at the station. Mm. And this guy said, oh, you see, I just go straight and turn right. Yeah. I said, okay. <laughs> so I got to that junction. I turned right. I didn't see any, any office. And then I asked another guy, uh, I'm looking for this place. And he said, ah, just go straight left. <laughs> yeah. So I see this, guy, <laughs> this guy, this <laughs> guy, this guy, I was lucky. I was having just a few coins. Yeah, now. yeah. They directed me uh, to, until, to the dungeon of until, the until I get to I get to the lion's den, you know. <laughs> but but I t when I got there, I said I'm dead because I saw killers, you know. I, <laughs> I saw killers. But they, they just directed me to the killer. Yeah, you know? yeah. And I, I went to there. the thugs den. I understand. They are they are outside looking for people to rob. Yeah. And you came freely, you know. Yeah, because you you trusting. Yeah. You yeah. Don't... So I just walked. Today. Another advice I would give nowadays, guys, we have your GPS, we have your Uber. No, if you go, I understand. Day, no? And even then, even now, let's say maybe you can't afford Uber or you don't have data, and then you in Joburg, CBD or taxi, uh, MTN taxi rank or, or uh, what is North or Bree Street. There are security, municipality securities there. Ask them. Don't ask anybody. They standing in corners. Find them. Others they wearing green things. Others orange. Mm. Ask those people. Not any other. Mm. Otherwise, you, they will end up like you. And there was a time, you know, Jobek was better. There was something that was called Vimba. Mm. You snatch my phone now. I say Vimba. The Vimba can go literally ten kilometers from here. Everybody, when say, obvious, the person who stole the phone will run. They will know who stole it and they find him. Then they would, others, they, they used to beat them to death. So when there was still this thing called Vimba, people were scared to do, to, to, mm. to, to, to snatch people's stuff. And the other day I witnessed these guys, you see how short I am. I was going to, I was still working for a SSN company and then I had to go, my, um, my training was at seven in the morning. And that time I was still staying in the worst. So I had to leave home half past four. You know those guys, they grabbed me like a potato. Other one came and grabbed me this side. Other one <laughs> grabbed me that. And they, they were just walking with me. Like, you know, when there's a child and the mommy and daddy, they did that until I started screaming and then they dropped me. No one said anything. 
And then these other two guys went the, to a Somalian. Other one just choked him, choked him like this. Other one was beating him here. While the other one was taking off the shoes, money was in the shoes. Because of someone told them that follow with this guy, maybe let's say someone who was working with those Somalians. No one said anything. They choked him until he peed himself. Yes. So My brother once told me that uh, when they are going to drop money mm. in the ATM machine, mm-hmm. you just need to get out of there. Listen, I'm telling you now. If you see your SPV or what those P, those cars that has money, run for your life because you don't know who's there, who are there to 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 make it, to 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 take the money, like the heist. Run for don't even. Because even those people who are who are who works in those uh, with, with money and all that, if they suspect you, they will shoot. Just suspect, it. just suspect. If you're doing dodgy things, maybe moving around and and, and 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 they're not feeling safe, they can shoot you. So you avoid the guys who care, who's carrying money, or you don't know who's watching and now they're about to attack. Because he said, he said when they suspect anything, they just shoot anybody around. Exactly. Everybody. Yeah, <laughs> th- that's true. Or those people who are about to commit crime, they can shoot, like there are trending videos where you can be in a wrong place and then you get shot as well. Die. And at that time, you just went to withdraw money. So, so this is an advice for uh, everybody who is in South Africa, especially Ghanaians. Whenever run. you see uh, the, Trans- the billion the Trans- Dropping money, just run for your life. Don't Fuck stay it. there. Don't, Don't ever leave that place. Don't, because now those people who are hungry for that money and already they know that there's money there, they shoot anything that is there. We I've seen videos where this other lady was shot. She was selling. She was a street vendor. They shot her as well because of they were shooting each other. They were shooting those security who works with that money. So even myself, I, I listen. I don't, I I don't even look. I just run for my life. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to money, these people they even block streets. You know when they about to do heist, mm. they don't care. There's this one that once happened in Main Street. Um, they just blocked, took money, and then other people would were, were, like who were in in te- in taxis. They went and f- get money as well. Mm-hmm. So, Jay, crime, it's, it's normal in my country. It's normal. <laughs> we even know that a traffic officer, if you did something... And, and, and the armed robbers in this country, or the, the crime mm. in this country, mm. it's not done at in night. night. No. In, in the morning. Or they during the day. Any day, any time. In the morning, night, 10, 11, anything. It depends with the, their plan. If it, it allows them to do it during without, the day. Without face masks, nothing. No. <laughs> No, <laughs> they don't do, they don't <coughs> hide, they don't, <coughs> they don't, you know the saddest part now, they get into shops, you go into sh- do shopping, that is why I said when you said you choose places, you can be it at KFC, they come, they, they, because they know everybody's inside has a phone, has others, you know, other like your McDonald's, you can go with your laptop Not and work because of there's Wi-Fi and everything, they know, they get in. My McDonald's, they got that is closer to where I stay. They came in because of they knew we had a um, power outage, so they knew that people who works from home they will go charge their phones there and get a Wi-Fi there. They got it. And then last thing, uh, when they meet you and they are requesting for your phone, your mm. laptop, anything, just hand Give it them. over freely. And you can even hug them. And Give say, Hi. it to them. You know, the way even it's not Add safe. your phone. Add your charger. Everything. Just give it to them. Listen, and it's so sad. Even if you requesting an Uber, even Ubers are not safe. When you're about to request, make sure that you share your, 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 your thing. Your location. Your location or the trip details to someone. Share the link so that they can see that the car is moving and they, they have the registration number of that person and the name and everything. There's nothing that is safe. <laughs> Even Uber drivers and Bolt and whatsoever, people that we should be trusting with our lives. When you're about to take a trip, make sure that you share with someone that should anything, or if you feel like you're going to a dodgy place, do a live location, send it to someone. So that even if anything happen to you, they know at least where to look. 
Okay, upon everything, what I can say is um, no South Africa is, is nice, nice place, nice weather. As I said, the weather is that of the mind of some South Africans. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It switches anytime. Mm, yeah, yeah. Uh, nice weather, nice place, nice roads, buildings, opportunities. Nice place, nice place. But I just need to be careful. And then no one is business. safe. Like don't said. don't don't think that you are a victim because of you not a South African. Everybody. We are all victims. <laughs> don't take it personal. <laughs> Don't take it personal, guys. Don't think that, oh, it happened to me because uh, I'm from Ghana or I'm from Zim. We are all victims, guys. We are all. That's all I can say. But just... You know, you know this uh, barbering shop here? Mm -hmm. The guy said um, they came there. Yeah, they do. They came to the barbering shop. Took things. They yeah. just give them everything, yeah. like their friends. Smile, yeah. and then they say bye. Thank you. They do that. Mm, they do. It happened with me, my friend Tembisa, and my daughter. They did it and when we just a guy got in. In, my, in, in our house, yeah, yeah. his hand was cut by, by those his people. own friend who is a, is a Nyawu or whatever. He smokes. guys on the street. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, know, you see them. Ah, yo, he's my guy. Take this coin. Take this coin. And then at the end of the day, this same friends of his mm -hmm. cut his hand. So you understand when I say no one is safe. And they get him. Like, shh. shh, shh. So it's then, and then, then, you then know, therefore it's, it's you, you know the intimidating us. name. The intimidating word, sorry. Fsek, fsek, fsek. Let's her. Let's her. You won't do anything. So it's dangerous for people to even go to the ghettos to preach because you might even get attacked. You go with who? Is it your territory? The only people who can go preach in the ghetto or township, it's people who knows people there. It's people who you, you go there because of they know you. You think a corner by now you can go and preach in, in township. Who do you know there? Let's say they rob you. Who are you going to mention? Who do you know? So you must go to where they know you. What are you going to do? Somebody. We have platforms now. Why don't you just sit in your mic and preach? <laughs> Maybe I want to go to the ghetto. To, to do what? To preach the gospel to the criminals. I mean, to the mafia. So to the ghetto guys. With what? With your mic? And speakers? No, I will go with my phone, record every conversation whilst I'm preaching and then I post. Then give them the phone after that. Okay. Just as, as a collection. Just give them the phone, donate, and your shoes maybe. If you have those nice suits as well, give them as well. <laughs> give, just make sure you give them all of that. And if you have a car, just give them your car. Just make sure that when you go there, you, you want to show them. Empty. Just make sure that you want to show the mercy of God mm -hmm. that you believe okay. that God doesn't give by hand. Okay. You just make sure that you are affirming to those township people that God doesn't give by hand. He won't come, God, and say, my child, I'm giving you a suit. You will literally give them. For free. Just make sure. Maybe if you go live, mm. you will, your people would see your work. Okay. After you give them the phone. Everything. And they can even take you and say, give us a pin. They can house arrest you. They can take you and say, Give us your pin. As a pastor, going there to preach. You, even if you don't have your bank card, you have an app. You will make cash sense, and you're gonna give them a pin. Should they not get? Should you give them a wrong pin because of they arrested you? You will pee yourself. They can they can find a house, put you there, and say, open your app. If you say, give him, they would say, give me your card, maybe, and then you say you don't have. Like, ah, oh, you have an app, brother. Get into your app, do some cash send, uh, cardless services, and give us the pin. <laughs> Should they go? Why they, they will go there while you still here. Someone is watching you. Should they come back without without a right pin? Okay, that's the day you will see that your God is alive or is dead. It's okay. We're done. Eh? Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Hello, Ebusiafo. So, Pesifita Asura Chodo for the 
and then now for our condom is unique laser whitening. Unique laser whitening. I will toothpaste to strong one. What did you choose? See, I'm a see a year fitter. Na a year fitter, no, so no. Na a ye and cow bonnet beer, a woe no mu beer. Any tea stain, coffee stain, smoking stain, si beer. Unique laser whitening product. A bay in in a free swam or come, come, come. The other one is a wood so. Na would the beer go or brush it or so. Now, dear Chicho, send it soon, you know, come on. Oh, yeah, and who who were no general were no massa into for a unique laser whitening. I was zero seven nine 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 seven nine two three three zero. Unique laser whitening or say, Muni says.